Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, after so long, I know that you all have been waiting for this video guys especially. Um, okay, I'm giving a background to this video. Ka. So, not sure if all of you follow me on Instagram, but I have recently um, disclosed a new update of my life. Um, just me, many Instagram me sabko bata diya hai that I am engaged. Um, but a lot of you had questions about how we met, how did this all happen? Please could share kare. So I said, you know what? How about we make a long video that we share on YouTube instead of Instagram because you know it's much easier to discuss about things. Um, so I thought you know I will introduce you guys to my fiance as well. And we'll discuss in detail that how did we meet and everything. So I think um, let's start by introducing Mr. Jag to you. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, that's Jag, and um, we are engaged. Yes, yeah. we are. Finally. Soon to be married. <laughs> yeah, inshallah, um, soon we are getting married. Yep. Uh, we're just waiting for family to come here, and then we will um, have an event. Yep. Um, but I think first of all, where do you want to start from how we met? Huh? You start first. Alright, where, where do we begin from? Uh, where do we begin So from? it was last year. So um, I went on a group. I'm, I, I heard somebody talking about a group, divorce support group on Facebook and um, that's where it all started, right? And that group is actually a group where you all can socialize and nice. Yeah, and it's a support group, you know, like it's yeah, that's socialized, socialized. socializing. Yeah, but sort of divorced. But with all of the all of the people, they are all divorced. Divorces. Yes. Yeah. You know, I thought I will focus on my happiness and myself first, and then I'll see how it goes. I was group me is purpose because that group is like not for dating purpose. So I did not go into that group to find somebody. I just went to make friends because, you know, when you're going through divorce, it's very hard to. It's very hard to. Uh, it's very lonely because your friends you have are mostly married so you will have your own life and you do not have any other friends that you can hang out with because the friends that you were previously hanging out with are all married people exactly right? what are you going through because loneliness divorce uh, there's one thing that really kills any person emotionally is loneliness, loneliness yes. especially uh, even if we have kids um, kids ke har weekend to pas bache nahi hote. so uh -huh. there are weekends where, where the kids are not there and your all other friends are married and they're having their own life and you can't fit in anymore mm -hmm. so I thought you know I'll find somebody similar so yes. basically in March May 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 2022 I joined that group when did you join that around group? the same time May April May I joined earlier he joined, I joined early. earlier but uh, I did not go to Many of them, yeah, events. yeah, meetups, yeah, yeah meetups. so basically that group used to do events. Yeah. And uh, many um Pella Eat ka event on uh, initiate kya tha. I think you didn't come on I that event. On it, yeah. So Eat event pe main gai, or uske baad a glamping event hua tha. you also didn't come there. Yeah. So you know, many apne Easter events start kar diya. I used to socialize whenever weekends pe I could go. So um it was going fine for me, life was very happy, then this person happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, but I think it was a very, it was an in, like coincidence that okay. So I think a lot of you don't know. I, I, you know about me. I have a daughter. Jag has a daughter too, yeah. and uh, Jenny is uh, nine years old nine now, years old. and Arya is seven years old now. Uh, but last year, humne. So we when we met. So there June, was in July. July. No, no, June, yeah. June, June, June fifth, June. I think we event was. Winter. It was at my house. Yeah, yeah, it was it. So the event was supposed to be held in a restaurant. Yeah. But the restaurant cancelled the booking or something something like so that. So basically, us group has a that we have event um, host karne hote hai, or if in your own area. So I thought, you know, I always go to other areas. Mein jati hun, so I will host an event in my event area. So I booked a restaurant and unfortunately that restaurant called me and they said, oh, in the uh, restaurant, there is a party ho rahi hai, so they are cancelling all the uh, bookings. So I said, oh no, everybody's on the way, now what do I do, right? So I told the group uh, um, uh, owner, I uh, informed ki about the incident and I said, okay, then what you all do is you come over to my house. Yeah. So we'll order food and you come, because the restaurant was closer to my house. So I said, you know, my uh, small apartment tha, and I was like, it's okay, I'll just, how many people were there? 15 to 18 people and 
first time this mister knocked at my door so i came with my daughter because we had a a, a different event we went uh, and then i brought her along and it was like the event is very f- uh, family friendly event so i brought my daughter along yeah, and then alia bhi thi na us time mere paas acha maza ki baat main aapko batati hu i think uh, a lot of you will uh, be very surprised at this point okay so मैं जब अपने डिवोर्स टाइम से गुजर रही थी ना उन उससे पहले भी जो टाइम होता था दे दे वर डेज व्हेन आई वुड बी क्राइंग वाइल ऑफरिंग नमाज एंड मैं अल्लाह से सिर्फ एक दुआ मांगती थी लिटरली रोते हुए आंसुओं से रोते हुए मैं एक दुआ मांगती थी अल्लाह मियां प्लीज जस्ट सेंड समबडी एट माय डोर सो दैट दे कैन जस्ट टेक मी अवे फ्रॉम दिस पेनफुल लाइफ जस्ट सेंड समवन टू माय डोर प्लीज किसी को भेज दे मेरे दरवाजे पे नॉक करते and then he aa gaya i swear it actually happened yeah. the first time he came to when when we met was he came to my house and he knocked yep. and he came in with his daughter because arya bhi hamare paas similar hamara same weekend hota hai i think yep. so he came and i was like oh that's a sweet person uh, uh and then um we met for the first time aur hamari us din mein hamari conversations hui thi uh, about divorce you know about divorce and the uh, struggle that struggle. everyone was facing and everything yeah that ne ek badi pyari baat ki thi um don't care about the people uh, focus on your life yeah if your life don't care about other people's opinion. yeah that's what he said and i and then he kept looking at me kept looking at me kept looking no. at me yeah you were looking at me no <laughs> But anyways, उसके बाद I think we started uh, meeting up, but we never. मैं आपको एक बात बता सकती हूँ. Uh, until we he proposed me, like asked me out that he wants to date me and you know he wants to be with me. Until that day, उससे पहले मेरी और जैकी कभी भी personal chat नहीं हुई. Like we were in the same group और हमारे उस group का WhatsApp chat होता था. But never ever he messaged me. Never ever I sent him a message. The only day he sent me a message was he sent my pictures from an yeah. event. जो हमारे एक anniversary का event हुआ था. So I, uh, I, uh, I do photography as a hobby. Yeah. So during these events, I'm usually the official photographer. <laughs> So he used to do photography for the events. Yeah. So that's why he sent me my photos, yeah. right? But anyway, uske baad I think we started catching up as friends and but hamari yeah. bahut pyari vibe thi. Yeah. Like we had a connection tha. Good connection I guess. Like <laughs> when you meet someone who uh you have a connection with, you can be very free with them and talk anything. Exactly. And you know the other person is not going to mind it and whatever they talk to you you are not going to mind it. So it's like a Like a what do you call it? It's like, a two-way street. Yeah. Like it's a very like one thing we it's both like felt. Like a puzzle, two puzzles meeting. Meeting together, together. like yeah. a yin yang. You know how a yin yang fits in. Yeah. That's how we fit. There was an event in your house. Ha! Uh, so a, three, four months later, there was an event, and uh, us event ke na then us us the us raat ko ye log sab aaye the. Phir se mere ghar and I hosted the dinner this time. We didn't order the food. I hosted the dinner, and we didn't have kids that time. So hua ye um, ke. उस उस दिन ना मेरा दैट वाज लाइक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट डेज इन माय लाइफ लाइक आई वाज वेरी इवन द प्रिपरेशन कर ली थी मैंने जो भी था बट मैं द मोमेंट दे लेफ्ट आई साइड क्राइंग या आई वाज इन सच अ ट्रॉमा दैट डे सेड मैं रोने लग गई अब मैं व्हाइल आई एम गोइंग थ्रू दैट टीयर्स एंड स्टफ आई सॉ समवन लेफ्ट देयर जैकेट बिहाइंड इट वाजंट यू इट वाज अनदर फ्रेंड ऑफ आवर्स दे लेफ्ट देयर जैकेट सो आई पोस्टेड इन द ग्रुप के यार ये जैकेट कौन छोड़ गया अब जो भी था दैट पर्सन messaged jai yeah. ki yaar main to nikal chuka hu if you are still there or if you are closer to her house can you please bring my jacket because And they I, live in the same suburb i suburbs. just left i think about 5 minutes yeah he was just 5 yeah, minutes, minutes away. away yeah so i took a u turn and went yeah he went he took a u turn and the moment he opened the door he knocked again <laughs> again the knock the knock happened yeah and uh, knock happened and he came and he saw me crying yeah and he's like what happened i said no there's some issues going in my life and the only thing i remember he did he did like this don't worry things will be fine um he picked the jacket he left yeah literally after 2 seconds yeah, so i went and sat in the car and then i got back out of the car and went up the door but why i don't know just i thought i better just let you know because actually what happened what was going on at that time was i was leaving the group for personal reasons um so you were going to leave the i was going group. to leave the group and i was thought if i'm going to leave the group then i better just let you know what i'm feeling yeah so he had emotions for me yeah. like you said like i said ke inko thi thodi feelings mein le so then um and obviously you were crying and i didn't like you crying. yeah he never I liked me crying yeah he, he always he can't see me crying so i was crying and you know he saw that my face was makeup was all rotten and stuff so anyways he picked the jacket he went two seconds ke baad phir knock hota hai and i'm like what he said i want to tell you something Yeah. I said what? <laughs> I like you. मैंने क्या बोला? अंदर आज. चलो अंदर. ऐसे नहीं बोला. कैसे बोला था? 
स्कूल में या स्कूल में I kind of shouted at you. Oh. Chalo andar. Bedo andar. Masla kya hai tumara? Because I was like stressed already, and I'm like, what the hell is going on in this person's life? Hmm. Then he sat down and he said, Oh, I like you. Many ka, but we're different. Okay, I think a lot of people don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. So the difference between the thing is like we never thought. I never thought about this relationship is because that's your phone. You didn't put on silent. <laughs> The thing is, um, the thing that I never looked at him in that manner, even though we were feeling connections and stuff. Yeah. But because we Jag, uh, Jag's family and his background was from Sikh family, yeah. so मुझे लगा था कि Jag is a Sikh, right? And I'm a Muslim, so we cannot have this relationship. So मैंने कभी उस नजरिए से उसको उसी वजह से मैंने कभी progress नहीं किया. Even though आपको लगता है that you're comfortable around that person, but I think I did not want to take any sort of uh, things which where i was feeling ke oh, ho nahi sakta where is no when there's no possibility i thought why you know initiate any sort of such feelings that's why i think i never reached out to you mm. even though i knew i'm very comfortable around him but then when he told me about that he likes me the first thing i told you that i hope you know i'm a muslim yeah. and he said oh yeah but something you don't know yeah because uh, back then i i already left sikhism for quite a while for what For personal reasons, I've left uh, Sikhism for quite a while, and I was exploring other religions. So yeah. I used to call myself as an omnist. An omnist is a person who believes in God, but doesn't believe in any sort, any one of religion. Religions, yeah. So uh, I was already doing Sikhism, Allah ka Sikhism. Allah, Allah Sikhism. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and at that time, so then I told you that you know I that I was not a Sikh. Like yeah. everyone uh, assumed that because I had, had a, a I had a beard. So he said, you know, our values are very similar, and but I'm more attracted towards Islam, and I'm doing zikr and all that. So I was like, Are you sure, Jack? Because to be with me, you'll have to, we'll have to do nikah because I'm not gonna do any sort of other marriage. Because if I don't nikah, I think my usi din ye baat ho gayi thi. Usi raat ko maine usko first day. First day, yeah. I said, the thing is that I'm comfortable. I feel 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 comfortable. So he said, "No, we'll do the nikah only." I said, "Are you sure?" He said, "Yeah, I'm fine." You know, and I said, "Are like he said, I want to be a Muslim," and yeah. that's what you said. Tell no, them. I'm not a perfect Muslim, but I'm learning. Yeah, that's thing. how it, it, yeah. it is a part of journey. Now it's a part of your journey. But yeah, I think it was not because of me. I did not ask him. In fact, I was already on a journey to become a Muslim even before. Yeah, that. before even he met me. Yeah. yeah. So I think. So uh, us point pe fir maine kaha ki theek hai then. Let's start it and uh, but and I actually I we had this conversation that day. Yeah, but then, then she I said no. Him, she said she wants to be a friend. Yeah, him. yeah. I said no. I still said no, Jag. I don't think I'm ready yet for a relationship. Can we just be friends? I need a best friend right now. That's what I said. I said now I don't well, need a. And it's fair because at that time you were going through some. Yeah, I was having a lot of trauma in my life, and you know I think when you're not ready for something, don't go in. Yeah. Don't dive in because. It doesn't make sense then, yeah. you know. आप फिर चीजें करते हो for the sake of it, and then it's not true. Yeah. So I and I for the second relationship, I just didn't want to dive in. So I told him that you know I'm not ready for a relationship. Can we just be best friends? He said okay, and he left. Three weeks later, we had a glamping trip. Usually, हम Fridays को जाते थे और Sunday we would be coming back, right? Check out. I think this didn't check out हुआ था. That morning you said I love you and I don't want to be best friend. Either I want to marry you or I don't want to be in your life. Hmm. I said okay, let's do it then. Okay. And then it just happened, yeah. right? That's that, how. That was one year ago. That was more than more one than year. One year ago, it yeah. was a twenty eighth of August. Yeah. I said yes to him, and then we started dating, and mm. then we told our families. The literally the day we said yes, we start we told our families. Family I told family. Baba. Yeah. Baba was really happy. Baba yeah. said, "Are you sure?" I said, "Yes, I'm hundred yeah. percent sure." And my mother, my brother met. Yeah, his because his family whole family lives here. Yeah. So they came. They met me and everybody. They were really very small family. Yeah, his his family very is pretty small. small. Very small. Pachas log hai shaadi ke liye. Very small. <laughs> his whole family lives here. <laughs> हम weekends पे मिलते थे especially हम हम जिस weekends पे मिलते थे बच्चे होते थे हमारे साथ. So we had kids. So we introduced kids and um, our daughters already knew each other. But then we introduced them as yeah. their bonus sisters. Yeah, and they are very very uh, close to each other. Yeah. <laughs> More than just friends. Friends, like. I think they they like. Arya told everybody in her school, "I have a sister, I have a pa, I have a father, I have a bonus dad," and every, and she was so happy. Genevieve also told all her friends and yeah. everybody, like the whole family, 
then jack took me to his family events Event, to yeah. he said oh i want to introduce you to my whole family so i met nani his inke hum maasi bolte hain khala unko so inki khala hai sari rehti hain inke mama mamu rehte hain yahan pe and his uh, then he took me to his dad side inke taya tai idhar rehte hain unke bacche hain so his whole family is here so i met every and that's how we met yeah but um, okay let's talk about well, i think one thing that he told me when i when i asked him that why did you want to marry me remember when i you when i used to ask you that because i what did i say i said because i was very comfortable with you no yeah you said i remember one thing you said that when i came to your house for the first, first day, time yeah i came to into to her house uh the feeling that i felt was like you know how when you go back to your parents house that that fit, uh like back in uh Malaysia back in Malaysia or Pakistan when you go back after a long time being away you go back to your parents house or your house back in the your other childhood house Child your, yeah yeah family the, house. the feeling that you have of that comfort and the that you know everything and like jaan pehchaan the thing like jaan pehchaan ha matlab ek comfort hota hai like you feel like you you are familiar like you that you belong belong, belong. Yeah, and belong. when i first came to her house i felt that that feeling and that's That's the reason. Like, and she's like, "Oh, that's the first time someone told me that." <laughs> I'm like, no one has ever like a lot of people when they used to come to my apartment. They said, "Oh, your apartment is very warm, mm. welcoming." Hai. But this was a very cute, like cute being in Kongi. I think it's a very sensitive um, emotion that you have shared with me, and a it very, was very honest one. Honest, and yeah. yeah, I mean, it's very true, and it's very sweet to know somebody felt that feeling because when you're in a relationship, I think this is one thing that. has to be there mm. that you feel like you belong, belong. to this person exactly. that's but now honestly speaking i i am better off single than being in a wrong relationship again exactly. same for you i exactly. would say and we because we have been in uh, an, a previous relationship. relationships and we didn't want to take risk yeah we don't want to take risk i think one thing i've noticed about our relationship you and me let's not talk about family but i think about us each other hamari similarities bahut hai like arguments discussions बहुत जरूरी है इन योर लाइफ बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट हैव दीज काइंड ऑफ कॉन्वर्जेशन हैपनिंग ना देन यू डोंट नो द अदर पर्सन डोंट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव दोस कॉन्वर्जेशन एंड डिफरेंसेस होना भी अच्छी बात है बट द प्रॉब्लम हियर इज यू नो व्हाट कीप्स अस टुगेदर इज द एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ दोस डिफरेंसेस लाइक आई मीन वी हैव द सेम uh point of views yes yes it's just that maybe some little things are little little things are different like yeah. he's a messy person ha i have an ocd not diagnosed but self diagnosed ocd i'm self diagnosed messy messy is self diagnosed <laughs> messy <laughs> but you know is tarah ki cheeze bahut ye hai aur but yeah similarities usse hamari bahut hai like everything i say oh jag i love this what do you say yeah because you always steal whatever i love no he says i steal whatever what what we both love the same thing i have both love this and you know i feel like we are a perfect like humne apne relationship ko literally 1.5 saal ho gaya almost 1.5 saal hone wala hai aur humne apne relationship ko dekha that we are like yin yang we fit in so perfectly hamari ladai itfa mujhe yaad hai hamari 4 minute 5 minute ki argument hui hogi koi and then i looked at him and i said laughing and he said laughing and i'm like this is all this is how we do it you know we yeah. can't stay angry at each other because i feel like jaise wo siblings wali fights nahi hoti ha huh, that you fight at that time and then you just forget about forget it forget about it that's how yeah. it should happen but wo jo jahan serious fights hoti and then people give you silent treatments that's not yeah, life that's, not, that's yeah. not relationship in fact there was a question on my one of my instagram picture mm-hmm. somebody asked me that um how long does it take for you to know that you are ready for dating or you're ready to get into another relationship so as long as you take but you need to be open to exploring new experiences and meeting new people i think ha humne jo ye iska jawab like we what we discussed about was that do not ever close your doors yeah. uh, take your time if you want if you, if you feel like you're emotionally not stable mm-hmm. take some time take professional help, help counseling yeah, low counseling. and it's all right to take counseling i took counseling right, jack right. took counseling we all go through that and jack ne ek badi pyari baat ki thi yaad hai aap kehte the ke when you go to when you're sick you go to doctor yeah so when you when you are sick like you have a flu or you have a fever you go to a doctor a doctor will prescribe you some medicines right the doctor you trust the doctor because the doctor has studied many many years to to be in that position so when you uh, have a sickness in your mind or you have a flu flu mind <laughs> flu in mind uh, like you know you but i like your mental mentally mentally 
unstable, unstable or mental. Yes. No, unstable is the extreme. Now, like yeah. you are having some mental trauma, breakdown. Ah, uh, breakdown. So the right person to meet and to talk to is a professional who has studied many years. Yeah. Because those people know exactly what to tell you to do and what to do to so that you can become normal back. And and it's this is the a normal every human being goes through it. It's like not as if if you are having such. things or such depression or stress in your life is that you are very special in in that or uh, why is this happening to me only it happens to everybody, everybody and yeah. and the mental health professional is a person who studied many years who knows exactly how to help you with this so it's, and uh, i think jana aap you also went through right, so i also went through that but uh, during my divorce my father passed away and that triggered a lot of uh, depression and a lot of uh, stress in my life so i did meet a professional uh, a counselor and he has he suggested me a few things to do and which i did and and, and, and that changed it. my entire life yeah i think it's very important to find yourself first and then you will find the person in the same yeah. direction i think one thing that i genuinely feel jana ke jab just like the background that i'm coming from I, i'm sure a lot of mothers do feel the same way that they're scared of having a new person like a man in their children's life so usko kaise deal kare like like i genuinely feel everybody has the same thoughts yeah, the i think the most important thing is uh, if you find somebody uh, don't only look at how you feel about that person but also keep an eye on how your children are having a relationship with that person and i think open a discussion karo open like discussion i discussed with, with jack that how i look at this relationship because i have a daughter and i make sure that my daughter is safe around my new husband mm. and because he jack has a daughter too so we have similar values and yeah. you know it's not just for the daughter of like for a father also he would think the same that thing is yes, like uh, as a as a, a divorced man i would prefer and obviously i found you but yeah. i i would uh, say that a, a divorced man would want to find someone who would take care of his children as well and love them and right love them yeah just well. like their own mother so and, i think wish you do but yeah he is jealous of my relationship with jenny yeah. because she loves me more yeah, but she's my jenny cannot take her <laughs> <laughs> but yeah he's like why she always gives you huggies and not me i said the girls love me yeah. the cool mommy yeah <laughs> guys um i hope you enjoyed this uh, video as well acha aapne group ka bata dete na Huh. Because you know, um, we thought that there's always a need for a support group, like a divorce support group. So we created a group called Zindagi Ke Rang. It's on an app called Meetup, and um, anybody living in Australia is more than happy to join that group. And we do events like picnics, catch-ups, coffee catch-ups. We will do glamping events when we have more people, and um, it's more of a family-friendly group okay. where, and it's not like we are not professionals. Yeah, so it, I would say the group is uh, like a, a support group. We are not counselors. We are not. We're not counselors, but, but we are happy to listen. Happy to listen to whatever issues you are going through. Yeah. And uh, most of us went through sim- something similar. So it's so easy to relate. Easy to relate. Instead of like, if you go and talk to another friend of yours who have never been through a divorce, they won't understand. They will not understand. So we are there to act. as support to listen to your issues to the problems that you are and having. all of us like it's yeah. not like we listen listening as a counselor but like sit together as sit a group and everyone. talk about things because i think one thing uh, my counselor told me that it's it's good to talk to people about your issues because when you went out mm. you feel lighter you feel exactly. happier you feel better so i think that's and the also group. the people everyone will f- uh, learn that you know they are not the only ones going through this thing yeah. everybody is going through the same thing i think that's what i learned too like when i joined the, uh, the group i realized that oh i'm not the only one divorced here so why am i so you know like crying about it but it helped me so i think that's the reason we created this group for everybody to come in here and feel safer and for the group's uh, details i'm going to post them in the description box below and if you guys have any sort of questions for us you can always post us questions and we'll be answering them in the next in video in the next video yeah it would be nice right let's yeah. do that yeah if you guys have any questions that you are you want to know we can always answer them in the next video that we'll post but but no political questions no no religious no political questions anymore we've already discussed about that part uh but uh, now you said urdu <laughs> ki bolna nahi kya bolna kya bolna फरा का फरा का यूट्यूब चैनल चैनल में चैनल में नहीं चैनल को चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करो और लाइक करो और लाइक करो और और ढेरों सा प्यार दो ढेरों सा ढेरों सा प्यार करो प्यार
<laughs> yeah guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel because now we will be putting up a lot of vlogs a lot of videos because we have so many things coming up yep. inshallah and um, yeah i think we'll see you guys in another video yep allah fe allah fe bye bye okay bhi aap picho abhi piche hona hai na then i okay okay all right you have to because the video has to start <laughs> stuck up <laughs>